In today's video, let's hop aboard a boat and take it to Spirit Island, where I'm going to teach you how to play this incredible game. We hope you'll join us here on Legendary Tactics. So I'm going to teach you how to play here. We're going to walk you through the tutorial. Now, there is a fair bit going on, so, um, you know, bear with me. I'm going to try and zip through everything and simplify and explain at the same time. So first of all, we'll take a look at the island. Uh, there's this long uh, stretch here of ocean. This is the only playable ocean space, even though there's ocean everywhere. This is the only playable uh, space that uh, factors into the game at all. And basically anything next to that is considered to be a coastal space. The other uh, parts of the island are considered inland, even though they're not kind of technically inland, just roll with it. Um, there's going to be th uh, four types of terrain. The first is jungle. The next is mountain, sand, and wetland. All right. Now you'll notice there's no coastal wetlands. They're both in land. So um, that will play into things a little bit later. Um, so that is the, um, the island in a nutshell. Now we have the Dahan here, these little mushroom things. Um, and those are uh, the natives that have worked out a peaceful coexistence with the spirits. And the spirits in this case are the players. Uh, so they're the good guys. And they've got a few settlements around uh, around the island. And, um, you know, basically they start with six. Now, this little bubbly thing is called blight. And this is something you do not want. This is the damage that the uh, invaders uh, of the island cause. And that, they're the big the big uh, bad guys here. The, uh, the invaders are who the spirits are defending the island against. Okay. And they come in many forms. They come in the form of explorers, which are like little soldiers you'll see in a sec. Uh, towns, which are more like small frontier settlements and cities, which are much uh, larger and tougher to get rid of. And uh, basically they're going to uh, explore. They're going to come into the land. They're going to build there and then they're going to ravage the territory. So um, first of all, the tutorial is going to show you what it would look like if the um, invaders did not have the spirits of the island to defend uh, the island. So we'll take a look at that. So first of all, is the first step is explore. They always explore by the same terrain type. So in this case, and you have to imagine there's a card that's flipped up. It says mountain. So that's where they go first. So they explore uh, the mountain. They come from the, the, uh, the coastal uh, space or from any cities and towns that happen to be uh, in the area. Um, so those are the sources of the invaders. Okay. And uh, basically the next turn, what they're going to do is build. And the rule is if there's no, um, if there's uh, more uh, towns uh, than cities, then you build a city. Otherwise you build a town. And what effectively that means is you go back and forth. Uh, if you were to build constantly, you would go town, then city, town, then city, because, um, you know, as soon as the towns do not outnumber uh, the cities and you build another town if that made sense <laughs> okay anyway um, so they built a city there and a town and uh, then if you imagine what happens is the cards actually kind of slide over to the left you'll see that later so that after they've explored we flip up a new card for the exploration in this case they explore jungle next and so that uh, one guy wanders in from the coast coastal waters and the other one comes from the city there and then they move in and then uh, the you know, basically now that the um, mountains have been built upon, then the uh, the next uh, step for them is to ravage and do some damage. And in this case, they hurt the Dahan um, and uh, and cause blight. If they cause two uh, damage um, to the land, then they cause blight. Now, the, the Dahan can actually fight back as long as there's some left. Um, even if they're wounded. So you see how it's flipped over. That that means it's uh, a wounded Dahan, but it'll still do two damage. And uh, if you think of them as having health points or hit points, whatever, the Explorer guys have one uh, hit point. Um, the uh, towns have two and the cities have three. So the Dahan did two damage there, so it made sense to get rid of the town. Um, but they also caused blight in the area, which is not uh, good. So now the, the uh, invaders are going to ravage unopposed there in the um, in the other mountain space and uh, that just causes blight because there's nothing to get rid of now again you think about the cards sliding to the left now that we've explored in the jungle the next step is to build and because there's no town there that's what they're going to build next and uh, 
then uh, they're going to ravage next and uh, then they flip over a new card to see what terrain they're going to explore next and that's going to be the wetlands so they're going to move into the wetland space from the neighboring cities and or towns okay so that's uh, pretty straightforward and now next turn the jungles get ravaged um, because they were built on last time and so uh, here they killed uh, off the Dahan, so there was no ability for them to strike back. Um, and here they just do the damage, uh, basically causing blight. So you can see how the island uh, situation is, is deterior deteriorating uh, poorly. And that's why we need to have the spirits of the island to uh, help defend, and that's the players. So uh, basically the way the spirits work, and this is where the players interact, so you've got this kind of, you know, Automa or this AI that, that basically uh, plays uh, that way uh, where they do the explore, build, and ravage. So if you look down here at the bottom, you'll see the explore. There's a card face down there. We're going to flip that up to see where the invaders strike first. Then it moves over to build, then ravage, and then drops off and goes back and circles back. Um, I'll explain the other stuff uh, uh, along with the tutorial, but I just wanted to show you that first. So the uh, the... Uh, spirit that we're demonstrating today is called River Surges in Sunlight. Bit of an odd name, bit of a mouthful, but we're going to run with it. And uh, I'll explain, you know, again, the, all the, the powers here and all the cards, um, you know, as we go. Um, but that's, you know, important to know that what they're referring to with River Surges in Sunlight is actually your character. And the goal is to drive all the invaders away. Um, and uh, um, basically, initially, the, the goal is to get rid of all cities, towns, and explorers. Um, but as you cause fear in these invaders, then the game actually gets easier to win. So it's kind of an interesting mechanic that way. Um, these little uh, tiles here are called presents. Um, so you start with a presence in the wetland there. And uh, basically, presence is where you can um, basically uh, take actions and so forth. Um, typically, or, or it's either in that space or adjacent um, in most cases. So, um, so initially, the uh, invaders are going to take their first turn here, and they have gotten jungle. So they're going to uh, come in from the sea here, and they're going to wander in from one of the either the city or the town uh, next to this other jungle and wander in. Okay, so that was uh, was their turn, and now um, we're going to basically. Um, start our turn, the spirit phase, okay? In the spirit phase, we get three options. Um, they call them, you know, growth options. So either uh, we can uh, choose this option where we reclaim the cards, we pull them back into our hand, gain a power card, so we get a brand new card and we gain one energy. Energy is used uh, to um, buy or to use these, or sorry, not to buy them, but to use these cards. You can see Wash Away, for example, has a one at the top left corner. That's the um, the energy requirement in order to play that card. Um, the middle option is uh, to add presence uh, to a couple spots. And the last option is gain a power card and, and add some presence. So we're going to just take the middle option and uh, we're going to draw the presence from two tracks. You can either draw it from the, the energy sla you know, uh, slash turn tracker here or card play. So as we move them, it's going to allow us to gain more energy per turn or uh, play more cards per turn. Okay, so we're going to drag that presence down into the mountain here. And now we will gain two energy. If you see how that was revealed, uh, we're going to gain two energy per turn instead of one. That is a good thing. And also we're going to uh, take a card and, uh, sorry, a, a presence uh, marker here. We're going to drop it into the wetland in the middle. And that is going to also allow us to play two cards per turn, which is great. Now we have two energy to spend. We can play two cards and we've got four cards in hand. So basically we need to you know, make sure that we're managing um, our energy level. Luckily, there's a couple cards there that are uh, free to play. They don't uh, cost any energy to, to use. So we're going to use just for this example, just roll with it. We're going to start with Flash Floods here and Rivers Bounty. OK, and we're going to show how that works. So and you can play them in any order. Um, so basically, once you play them, if you notice up here, this is your energy indicator. So that's going to be dropped down and, and be spent. So we spent two on Flash Floods and zero on um, Rivers Bounty. So we're all good. Um, even though Boon of Vigor is free, we were not able to play it because we're limited to two cards per turn. So um, we 
save it for later. Uh, once we're done that, then we need to take a look at uh, cards that are essentially what they call fast uh, powers. So if you look here, you'll see um, this speed indicator and this is uh, uh, the bird means it's fast and the turtle means it's slow. So the fast marker means that you get to actually play this before the invader's turn and the slow happens after the invader's turn. So that's kind of another part of the strategy is when to use the abilities uh, to, you know, to time them so that, uh, you know, they're going to be triggered at the right time. So for the moment, um, we're going to uh, you know, use flash floods to uh, do one damage. And you'll notice if dam target land is coastal, we'd actually do two damage. Um, it doesn't make sense for us to hit the coastal city here because there's three health points to that. So let's just get rid of this guy and sink him into the, uh, into the sea. And that is a good thing, uh, especially because jungle is coming up next for build and then ravage right so if you can plan ahead and hit hit them where they're about to trigger uh then that's a, a good thing strategy wise okay so that was a uh, uh, very useful so we save uh, we block the build basically um so we don't have to worry about a town popping up okay then the invader takes their turn because we've used up all of our fast abilities uh so uh, they're going to build in that jungle where they have an explorer and they can't build in the other one because we destroyed that uh, explorer there. So um, we're in good uh, good shape. So now we're going to flip over the next card. We're going to see where they're going to explore and it's mountains. So this guy's going to wander in from the uh, coastal space there and this one's just going to pop up right in the town where they are uh, based. So okay so next turn they're going to ravage with the cards slide across again so we've got a plan for that and so now we use the slow powers okay so river's bounty um, can target it it has to happen if you look here you'll see the range so it has to be in a space where there you have presence okay so it can't be next to flash flood could be within one space of any uh, presence marker so it was pretty much the whole island in this case um, controlling the center squares, I think, is, is going to be kind of key in this uh, in this game because uh, it gives you the most flexibility. Um, so we can only play it in, in lands where there is our, uh, our presence. So we're going to now gather um, in the inland mountain. And gather basically means we pick guys up from um, next door and uh, congregate them. And whenever there are two or more in a space, when we play this ability, it breeds a third. So I just had a little baby and now we've got more Dahan to defend and to uh, mainly, uh, you know, counter attack. That's essentially their ability. They're not a violent people, um, but they will strike back if they're uh, hit first. There's also another ability, which is something, you know, called our, our innate power. And this is something that we get to play whenever, if you look here on the cards, do you see the, uh, the elementals uh, here? These are... Um, color coded basically and if you look at uh the, the the item here oh sorry i won't that's a bad format i'll show you this way so if you have one yellow elemental and two blues then it gives you a special ability to push one soldier city or town one space if you have two and three it kind of boosts the damage and the number of uh, uh things you're able to uh, uh to do and so because we have one we actually have two yellow, two blue, so the one yellow is wasted, but we can use that power to push one unit, uh, you know, a, you know, away. It's called massive flooding, so we can use it on the coastal jun jungle here, and we can push the, uh, in this case, the town into the neighboring space. And so, because sand isn't coming up anytime soon, um, this means that um, the uh, you know, it, it kind of postpones the the ravaging or building or whatever was going to happen that turn. Okay, and uh, even though you lose those elementals every turn, you can if you play them again in some form, you can get your innate power back and use it again, uh, as long as you've got the elementals on the cards that you can sort of spend, quote unquote. Okay, so now it is uh, time to grow again. It's our turn again. We're going to put some more presents down, and we're going to get into that uh, sand. Uh, we're gonna visit the beach uh, along with that town and city. And we're gonna drag again from the, the card track. You have the option, but we're gonna just you know do this. And we're gonna stack them 
Okay, and that creates something called a sacred site, which is uh, affects some card powers. Now, if you look here, um, where it says the special rules, rivers domain, so your presence in wetlands counts as a sacred site. So the wetlands, if you notice the sunburst around them, <clears throat> they count as a sacred site, even though they don't have two stacked on top of each other. And that's just because that's the, the spirit's special ability. Okay, so as uh, it's basically so that you can use certain powers in that uh, in that area. Okay, so um, <clears throat> moving uh, moving on to uh, to that uh, to the next uh, thing. So we're going to um, now play up to three cards per turn, but we've only got two in hand. So um, we're going to use both of those, and it only costs us one energy. And because we have one yellow and two blue, uh, we get the uh, innate uh, power once again, which is great. So, um, so Boon of Vigor um, basically is going to um, help us with uh, adding energy. So it, it basically would normally target a, uh, um, you know, it normally target uh, you, either yourself or another spirit. But because we're playing the solitaire, there's only one spirit we can target. And so if you look at the energy, it goes from two to three. That was our fast power. So now we're moving on to the invader phase. And the invaders are going to ravage in the jungle. So if you recall, the explorer has one health, but also one damage, just like the towns have two health, two damage, cities have three health, three damage. So that uh, soldier is only going to hit the Dahan for one health point. Luckily, the Dahan has two um, health points, so it's not going to um, kill him. It's just going to damage him. And then because he's surviving, he strikes back for two damage. And of course, that uh, explorer only had one health, so um, it wipes him out. Now, this is a, a key note just to remember. If you have a, one explorer and one Dahan in a space, you're totally safe because the Dahan is going to take out that explorer. Um, so it's, you know, you don't need to necessarily clear out that explorer because the Dahan will do it, uh, do it for you. Because the damage was so light, there was only one damage. There's no blight added, which is uh, which is great. If it's two or more, then you add blight. Um, and the other uh, jungle was empty, so there was no ravage there, which was perfect. This is why you want to kind of control the uh, invader numbers. Okay. So next up in the mountain spaces, they're going to build, and so town's going to pop up here because there's no other civilization, and because there's already a town, towns outnumber cities, so they're going to build a city. All right, so getting a pretty decent foothold, we want to make sure that we, uh, you know, we we you know get to get on top of that, and then we flip the next explore uh, card, which is wetlands. So they're going to spawn a new explorer in a neighboring city or town and move into that that spot. Okay, so um, so interestingly, sand is not on the agenda at all at this point, which is good. It means there's plenty of time to deal with that city and town. Um, in that coastal uh, beach area there. Okay, so now we get our slow power, wash away, which is to push up to three enemy units, uh, one space. So we're going to use that in the inland mountain here. And we're gonna push the, the town and the explorer uh, into the sands, because remember the sands aren't on the agenda at all. Okay, and that is good. And then, um, before we use um, massive flooding again, um, we got to see it's got a sacred site requirement, so it can't. It can only target lands within a range of target of uh, within one space of sacred sites. Luckily, we're surrounded by sacred sites, so we're in good uh, shape that way. So we're going to use the massive flooding uh, to, uh, you know, to basically, um, you know, push the, uh, you know, the the city. Or sorry, we're gonna sorry we're gonna use it for the uh, the wetland, and uh, we're gonna push him into the sands. And sorry, I made a slight error there when I said that wash away uh, pushes up to three. It's three strength worth. That's why one town and one explorer got pushed. So just to uh, clarify that. Okay, and we're on to the next uh, turn. Now all pieces, if they're damaged, return back to full health at the beginning of the turn. So that Dahan flips back over. And also uh, damage is restored uh, on any uh, enemy units as well, and any invader units. So um, now we're out of cards. So 
um, we're going to, um, you know, this is our discard pile. You can click and look at them at any time. But basically, we're out of cards, so we have to take this growth uh, option. So we'll reclaim the cards back in hand and we gain a new card. So this will be exciting. We also gain an energy. So we get uncanny melting, um, which causes fear. And we'll touch uh, touch base on that in a, in a second. So um, the uncanny melting. So you can see if invaders are present where you do uncanny melting, you gain one fear. Uh, now fear is used to kind of, uh, you know, advance uh, the, the, the terror deck, which allows you to, um, it makes your wind conditions actually easier. And if it happens to be in uh, sand or wetland, if your target is in uh, either of those spots, you remove a blight. That's what that weird eyeball like thing is. So, okay. So hopefully this is not overwhelming you at this point. Trust me, if you play it through a little bit, you'll see it's, there's a fair bit going on, but at the same time, it's very manageable. So, um, so we're going to use um, Flash Flood, uh, River's Bounty, and Uncanny Melting as our cards. Um, and uh, we played a lot of Elementals, so of course we get the um, Massive Flooding. But if you look, we actually, because we have three yellow and three blue on those cards, we actually get the middle uh, power there, the in two damage and push up to three uh, strength of, of um, enemy units there. So that's pretty cool. So it's going to be a, a, a bit of a power play uh, right now. So first of all, um, we're going to uh, check our cards. Now we have um, Flash uh, Flood, which is our fast power. And uh, so we're going to uh, do a little more damage on the coast. And if you look at the coast, there's a town here and there's a town there. So we're going to, there's nobody in the jungle. So it doesn't mean uh, that that's not going to be a target space, but we're going to use the coastal mountain to get rid of that town and uh, that is going to be useful we're going to get rid of that uh, town now you have to click on the damage you can allocate the damage any way you like you can split it up if you want to but we're going to hit it twice and we've gained one fear all right and uh, um, I'll show you the, the fear deck in a, in a little bit so now it's the invader phase because our fast powers have uh, have happened so now the mountains are going to um, ravage. Okay, so now in this coastal mountain, we already know how that's going to play out. He's going to injure a Dahan, and then the Dahan are going to strike back, which is great. And uh, that's them uh, putting them to work. And um, the uh, for the city is going to deal three damage. So it's going to, you know, destroy one Dahan, flip the other one, and then the Dahan will get the opportunity to strike back here. And uh, because enough damage was dealt, there is a blight that's going to um, to happen. And when blight is placed, you lose the presence there. And unfortunately, that's lost from the game. But we did get rid of the city. You know, you got to live with these trade-offs. Now, just very quickly, you'll see it's three out of four for the fear. And I'll just show you a quick glance at the fear deck. So there's three cards. Every time you get the four fear, you play a card, which gives you kind of a bonus. Um, and gradually, you work your way down to... Uh, the level two um, victory condition. So if you recall, and I'll just show you very quickly here, the, the win condition right now is to eliminate everybody. So you need to get rid of all explorers, all towns, all cities. But if we can get the fear deck down to level two, then all we got to get rid of are the settlements. It's explorers will not matter. And then uh, level three, which is a really good spot. We just need to get rid of the cities and we're and we'll be able to win the game. So um, so the more fear you cause, which is uh, done with effects and so forth and destroying um, cities and towns and so forth, then that is uh, uh, like we destroyed a, a city there. So we generated two fear, which is great. So that's moving us closer to where we want to be. Next up is the build in the wetlands and they've got, uh, they're not in the wetlands we started in, but they're in the middle ones. So they're going to build a town uh, there. Um, all things considered, that's not too bad. And they're going to flip the card and they're going to explore in the mountains again. So they're back in the coastal mountains and they're going to pop over from one of the towns here into the into the other mountain. So, all right. So next turn, they're going to ravage in the mountains and then um, and build in the mountain. Or sorry, they're going to ravage in the wetlands, sorry, and build in the mountains. So just a plan uh, ahead. So uncanny um, uh, melting we can use to get rid of this blight. 
causes a fear because there's invaders there and uh, that's that's great now the blight you want to make sure that you don't get have too much blight on the board because if the blight markers run out then you are uh that that's the end of the game and you lose so um so now that we got the f the fear card that has been generated it goes back to zero and uh so um we're going to um see the status of the fear cards there really quick and um yeah i kind of uh, zipped through that already so um all right, so there's some built-up invaders in the uh, coastal sands. So River's Bounty is going to allow us to uh, to um, bring some dudes over, and uh, they're going to have a little baby. There we go. And now they've got a bit of a force there to counter the the civilization that they were uh, building up. Now we do have this uh, this big power here, so we're going to use this on the wetland where we have a. a you know, a uh, sacred site, and that's going to cause two damage and generate a fear. So we'll take out that town, and we're moving uh, right through. Then we can also push up to three explorers or towns, um, but in this case, basically, if you recall, um, one Dahan and one explorer, generally, the Dahan will take care of business, so we don't need, want to actually push them away right now. So um, we'll just take a pass on that ability. All right. Now we're going to use the third growth option. So we're going to add a presence and gain a power card. And this is our new card and it has a defend power and, uh, and the other wash away or sorry. Um, uh, you know, basically if we've got two blues then it may also remove one blight as well, which is always handy. So, all right. So let's replace the presence that was destroyed last turn. Uh, nothing changes in our, our energy level. Uh, in terms of how many points we gain every turn. But uh, we're going to basically play all three of our cards. <clears throat> we don't even spend much energy on them. but And we unlock the massive flooding again, but only at the first level. So um, we've got two abilities now that are fast. So we're going to give ourselves another energy with Boon of Vigor. And then uh, Nature's Resilience is the, the new one that we, we picked up. And uh, it has... Um, you know, it has an elemental threshold that we must, uh, you know, aim for, which is, again, the two blues. Um, now, the main effect, which is Defend 6, we'll touch on that in, in a little bit, but it will allow us to remove a Blight. <clears throat> and so that is a good thing. We're going to want to use it to remove the last Blight on the island. And that card will be back. Okay, in the invader phase now. So first, before the invaders get to move, we get the fear card. And we're at terror level one, so we get to remove one explorer from an inland uh, space. So um, we're going to uh, basically take it from the inland uh, mountain there. Uh, that's the ability because of uh, the fear. So, all right, so now they're going to ravage in the wetlands, and that's not going to go well for them, as we had covered before. And they're going to build in the uh, in the mountains. All right, building a town. They've got nothing in the other mountain space, which is good. And sand is the next spot to be explored. And they've already got a town there, so we're just going to pop in and add another explorer in the same space. So that is fine. And uh, we move on to our slow abilities, and we've got wash away, and then our innate power. So, um, so we can, uh, you know, basically use wash away to to push all the uh, invaders, uh, you know, to the central uh, wetland. Um, and so we're going to do that here and move them. Oh, sorry, I got to do them one at a time, I guess. There we go. All right. And now we can use this other power. Remember, we just have the weak power of this, but we can still use it to push. Um, and uh, we can push uh, everything out of the sand, which is coming up uh, for the Ravage uh, portion of their turn. New turn begins, everyone heals up, and we're going to reclaim our cards, gain a new power card, um, which is good. So it's something that's gonna do some fear, um, which is great. And um, so we're going to play these three cards here. We've got tons of energy to spend, which is great. Um, fast powers, we have flash floods, so we're going to go to the coastal mountain here. 
And we're going to do two damage to the town, get rid of that. And that sets up a nice uh, spot as, uh, as I said, timing that ravage action. Um, when there's only one explorer there, it's a, it's a good uh, thing. It also won't add any blight, which is, which is fine. So uh, that battle does not go well. Um, they build in the sands. They're only in the one sand uh, space because we push them out in time. And then they flip over their explorer card, which is all coastal lands. So now they're in jungle, they're on the beach, and they're in the mountain. And that is fine. So we'll work with that. And uh, so don't worry. We, we, will, uh, we will, you know, get there eventually. We're building up our, our powers. So... Uh, the pull beneath the uh, the hungry earth. If the target land has your presence, one fear and one damage. And if it happens to be a sand or a wetland, it does one damage. So um, we can use it uh, for the um, you know for the, to take out one of the, the towns here in the coastal sands, which is great. That gives us another fear, which gives us another fear card. We're getting close to uh, making our lives a lot easier. And um, so the, the goal here is uh, basically we're just going to use the, uh, again, we've got the, the boosted up power here. I'll just show you, whoops, show you here. Because we have the two yellows, three blues, we get two damage uh, in addition to the, um, you know, the, the ability to push. So we're going to use this to destroy a town. Once again, we get a fear. And uh, we're just going to finish uh, pushing them. We're not going to bother uh, pushing them there. Um, and, uh, you know, River's Bounty is going to gather more guys in the central woodland. And because there's no one in the mountains right now, we can focus on um, attacking the, uh, the explorers. They have another little baby. And uh, next turn begins. And uh, so we're almost done the tutorial here. Um, we're going to choose the third option of gaining a card and putting some presents down we get accelerated rot which is a great card uh, if you actually look at it it's something called a major power when you when you pick up a major power then you do have to throw away another card um, because uh, you have to you essentially forget one of your earlier spells um, to take on this big spell now this causes two fear does four damage in a in a jungle or wetland and you can do it within range of of two spaces to one of your presence if you have three yellow two blue and three green you add another five damage so a total of nine damage and remove one blight so it is a power play type uh, card um, so we just need to forget about one of the cards um, we'll get rid of boon of vigor and that card leaves the game. Now we're going to uh, to add some some presence here, and uh, well, let's make a sacred site here in the mountains. That's always good. Make sure it gives us a lot of flexibility. All right, so we're going to play nature's uh, resilience, and uh, um, we can basically, um, you know, we take a look. We're going to want accelerated rot because we want to do some damage, and so that's a push card. And this is a fear card. So um, we don't have any blight on the board, but I kind of like the idea of, well, maybe let's let's choose a, a push card here because we can only play three. So we'll see. Um, now, actually, I, looking at uh, this, um, I'm wondering if I actually did the best move because if you look at the runes, um, I'm looking for two yellow and three blue. So maybe that... Uh, nature's resilience is actually well she recommended that one probably for the tutorial can we get a better combination of uh, I, sorry I called them runes earlier they're elementals um, I guess we really can't it's not really going to help us okay so we'll, 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 we're fine with that we'll stick with that so our fast power nature's resilience now nature's resilience the main ability it has is defend six so if you play it in a space um, basically, it is going to absorb six damage, um, and that can mean it will end up dealing zero damage to both the land and the, the Dahan, and the Dahan still get to fight back. So it's a pretty powerful ability. So we're going to put that in the coastal sand there. And uh, so we get the... Uh, now that was our fast power, so now the invader, invader phase starts, but we had a fear card that pops into play. And we get to remove one uh, 
uh, unit from a land where it's the only invader. So we're going to, I'm going to choose the jungle because I don't have a Dahan there to uh, defend uh, things. So um, they're going to ravage in the sands. And of course the, uh, the shield there, the six is going to absorb most of that damage. And then when the Dahan strike back, they hit back hard and sink everything. Okay. They're going to build in the coastal lands. There's only one spot and they explore jungle next so they're going to um, come from the the water they're going to come from the nearby town and they're going to end up there so you can see as a spirit we're building in power uh, we're getting uh, close to uh, victory and we just need to get the terror level to level two and then we just need to get rid of the towns and cities and it's game over the three ways to lose. You either run out of blight in the blight pool, all of the presence, um, or if you lose all of your presence uh, on the island, then that is one. The last way you can uh, lose is they have a, a, a deck, the explorer deck, um, that they draw from, the invaders draw from in order to, uh, you know, uh, find out where they're going to hit next. If that deck runs out and they can't reveal another to explore with, all hope is lost, you lose the game. So there's a bit of a timer there as well. So um, the undo button is there at the bottom uh, left if you need it. That's obviously just for the digital edition. And uh, so we want to uh, be, be careful of range limits and we want to make sure that it matches the land uh, there. So, um, so the tutorial now leaves us on our own and we're approaching the, um, the fear. You can see we've just got, uh, we've got two more cards, uh, or sorry, one more card left before uh, we get to terror level two and we just need to eliminate the, um, the cities. So we're going to look at uh, the situation here. Um, we want to do, what do we want to do? We want to, oh, we want to cause fear and we want to do a lot of damage, um, which is, uh, great. So, um, where would be a good spot? Well, the coastal lands are next up for ravage. So we do want to hit that. Um, and we want to push up to three um, guys, uh, sorry, to three spaces, and we can push one more uh, unit with our massive flooding. So I'm thinking that what we should do is uh, maybe we'll push, um, oh gee, this is a bit tough. Be nice to have one more card to do a little bit more damage, um, but we'll have to basically aim to do what we can so let's uh let's push one guy over here then we're going to hit with the oh that has to be only in wetland and uh in wetland and uh jungle so i forgot about that that's okay though because we can hit this um with the accelerated rot we get the easier win condition we just need to take out the uh the cities and towns. So we get four damage. We're going to make sure to take out that. And um, that is good. And he's down to very little um, in terms of his ability there. And we're going to push up to three um, away. So let's see if we can... Uh, Let's see, jungles are coming up for Ravage. Um, but right now, uh, okay, so mountains are okay uh, for now, I think. Um, bit of a tough call here. Do I save that? Yeah, I think we're fine for now. Let's, um, let's push the... Ah, tough decision. Okay, so we're going to try pushing these guys over here. What is three units? I think I said earlier three strength, but I guess it might depend on the on the card ability. So we've moved them into the jungle. And uh, we're next up, we're going to uh, reclaim our cards and get a power card. We get Song of Sanctity. So um, that's going to be handy because I have a feeling we're going to have some blight uh, to worry about. Uh, but really, we just need to um, basically, oh, I think I may have uh, hurt myself a little bit with that, um, as uh, we're going to see here. 
so we're going to, um, you know, in case you're looking for a strategy guide here, um, that is not what I'm going to provide, obviously. I think I just uh, kind of delayed my win here because I pushed those guys away from the coast and I probably could have used uh, that, uh, um, that one card there um, to do some, some damage. Uh, flash floods here, but we'll take it anyway. We'll we'll hit that uh, uh, that guy in the jungle, and uh, that'll prevent basically anything from happening this turn. Buys us a uh, a lot of uh, time. Um, pull beneath the earth. Um, no fear there, but yeah, we can use that one in the middle wetlands, and that'll be our three cards I think for this turn. So that should be fine. We'll try that. So fast abilities. Um, we're going to use uh, this to um, hit that guy with the jungles and coastal lands up. Um, this is going to really uh, cause uh, some issues. And with jungles, um, you know, ravaging, um, there's no blight on the island. So I guess we'll just play there. It may not have been the best move, but that's okay. We're just learning this game. All right. So... Um, with the fear card, we're at uh, terror level two, so we get to um, destroy a couple of uh, explorers, and uh, they they are going to build in a jungle and they get a city. So we're going to have to hit that. Um, and the next card is uh, stage three invader card. So this has two land types. They'll explore in both um, next turn and then build in both. So there's a bit of an acceleration that's going to happen here if we're not careful. So um, best thing is we need to strike that. Um, we need to strike in, at those buildings and get those buildings uh, done with. Okay. Uh, all right. So uh, if the target land has presence, uh, we get a fear and one damage. But we can, um, we can hit uh, sand and wetland for additional damage. Uh, damage, so we'll do that. Cause of fear, which is going to be very handy. And this, uh, we just get to push um, one guy away, and we're going to push him out of the jungle um, onto the sands. Okay, so now we got to be careful here. Um, we got to make sure we we play this right here. Um, I'm wondering if we gain a power card would be actually good. Tsunami, two fear, eight damage, destroy two Dahan, but that is uh, that's fine. Now we have to forget uh, an earlier power, so we're going to uh, forget the Song of Sanctity, and we're going to draw. A, uh, a presence and just to make sure we are able to hit this space we're gonna put a presence there and we can reclaim one space on a on the presence track uh, with that now that we've revealed that so um, we can reclaim a card back into our hand um, so we might get the defend against the ravage that might be a good choice um, I think that's probably the best one and that'll defend against the ravage all right, so we have a uh, tsunami. The only problem is it's coastal. <laughs> That's the only problem with that. So we're going to um, hit the accelerated rot. That's going to do a fair amount of damage, um, especially if we can. Uh, oh, you know what? Maybe we can do a push and then hit with the tsunami. That one could be could be good. Um, let's see what we got here. Um, hmm. Maybe we can gather, and uh, we just need to be able to to hit them in a way where they cannot uh, hit back. So uh, let's see here. Um, okay. Um, we'll take the def uh, da, 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 push up to three. I'd love to push them into a, a spot where they can be really hit let's see if we got our, our runes together here uh, sorry our elementals here so we need three plant um we've only got two plants available in our hand in total so that's unfortunate that would have been really powerful but i think with this accelerated rot we can probably um you know win the game especially um if we can do a bit more damage on the 
um, on that town. So let's um, let's uh, do this. Uh, we're gonna cause a fear. How many? Let's take a look at the fear deck. Oh, we've got a little ways to go until uh, stage three there. So let's wash away. Uh, good. Yeah, I think so. I think we can we can live with that. Um, okay, so we're going to finish playing the cards. Fast abilities, we have none. So they are going to ravage and cause some blight. We lose our presence, unfortunately. Um, they're going to uh, build again. And yeah, so this game is kind of getting out of hand here. <laughs> i gotta look, got to look out. There's a lot of stuff happening, and this isn't good. So they're, building, they're exploring in the mountains and jungles and they are getting into all sorts of stuff and we need to cause a lot of damage here so all right we've got our slow abilities so let's see what we can do here um so we can gather um so let's uh gather here and oh actually we want to sorry we want to gather here and we're going to, oh, what's uh, going on there? Gather. Oh, huh. well, it's not letting me do that. Um, okay, so this target land any. Maybe because, oh, because we don't have any presents, that's why. Okay, well, um, if that's the case, let's, um, well, let's gather here, I guess. Okay, we'll pull a couple guys over. Yeah, so you, hopefully you guys are getting a good sense of, of how uh, the game plays. Perhaps not the best way to play the game, as you can see. Um, but, uh, you know, we're we're doing what we can here. And uh, so we're going to push these guys over into the sand. Okay. All right. And then I think I may have caused... Uh, Bit of problem there. We have a fear card. We get rid of the, one of the cities, which is good. And that guy. So that caused a lot of fear. And hopefully we can uh, accelerate that. And we actually get two damage. So we're going to attack there and get rid of a town. And um, we're not going to... We're not gonna push uh, any dudes out there, so. Yeah, so <laughs> as you can see, I'm struggling a bit here, but we got two fear cards in the deck, so that could absolutely help. And uh, we're going to basically need to, um, you know, we got everything in the coastal. Uh, so if maybe if we gain some energy, uh, that way would be a good thing. And we get another card and we get uh, encompassing ward, which is good. Okay, so let's see if we can finish this off. Actually, it looks like we can. We got a fast power there that's gonna take out the town. And uh, I think that is going to basically mean the end of the the uh, the game here. So, um, because we're gonna strike first. So this has been a lot closer than I thought it would be. But as you can see, it ended up working out, and I'm sure once you get to know the cards and everything, uh, it'd be a lot faster. But I appreciate you watching through. Again, I hope you got a sense of the gameplay and uh, maybe learn from my mistakes. I'm just getting to know this game, and I'm really excited to learn more about it and how to play well. And uh, so if you got some value out of this, please like, please subscribe, and uh, look forward to seeing you next time here at Spirit Island and here on Legendary Tactics. Thank you so much for watching.